All right, it's four o'clock. I will call the Planning Commission to order. Uh, roll call, Mayor Sorensen's here. Alderperson Mitchell, are you online? All right, Ryan Sazima. Here. Jerry Jones. Here. Marilyn. Here. Dave. Here. John. Here. All right, we got a quorum. For those present, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Any conflict of interests that we need to identify today? All right, seeing none, we'll move along. Is there a motion to approve uh, the minutes from our previous meeting? I'll make that motion. Second. Motion in the second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. All right. 3.1, application for conditional use with exceptions by Stratford Sign Company to install new signage at the Oscar Apartments at 1509 FC Way. Uh, Steve? Okay. Thanks, Mayor. Um, is there anyone on the phone for this item, Stratford Sign Company for the Oscar Monument sign? Um, I am, this is Jody Gates from Taylor. Jody? Craig with Stratford Sign here as well. Okay. All right, thanks guys, I'm gonna, I'll go through this real quick. Um, what we're taking a look at is um, monument signage for the Oscar Apartments. Um, as the plan commission is aware those that uh, is under construction right now and some of the things that they were looking at was development of a monument sign they have a couple of different ways of accessing the site but they've always talked about broadway avenue being the main access to the property so there's uh, secondary accesses on the north side of the site at 15th and 16th street and so what we're looking at today is this section along Broadway and what's referred to as FC Way, which is the private road that's gonna be utilized to access the apartments. If you take a look at that site plan, you can see that lot B, if you remember, is where Quick Trip is going to be under construction. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why the monument sign is before you today is that Technically, it's going to be installed on Quick Trip's property, and we do not allow for off-premise signage. Um, as I've indicated, the uh, Joel um, uh, uh, Oliver from uh, Oscar uh, uh, from Green Street Development throughout the Oscar development has indicated that this was to be the location. They've gotten an easement with Quick Trip and they've always shown this site as the area um, that the monument sign was going to be proposed. So the, the sign itself is approximately 22 square feet. It's about four and a half feet tall. It's interior lit and double-sided and would advertise the Oscar apartments. So there is the variance. The variance is that uh, allowing the uh, to have the Oscar monument sign on the Quick Trip property and staff was recommending approval of the sign permit as proposed in variance. Um, so I can answer any questions and then there are some people on the line that may want to address this as well. Any questions from commission members at all? Anyone online like to add any additional comments? Steve did a great job covering it, thank you. All right, any motion? I make a motion to approve as presented, subject to staff recommendations. I'll second. Motion by Jerry, second by Ryan. Final comments? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That item's approved. Thank you. All right, 3.2, application for conditional use with exceptions by CJ Concepts LLC to operate first floor multi-tenant retail store with two second floor apartments at 1627 Indiana Avenue. Steve? All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, Craig Latour and Jennifer Feiberger are here and are, uh, the, are the owners of uh, what is to be CJ Concepts at 1627 uh, Indiana Avenue. Um, 
as you may be aware, this was previously owned by Dick White and was White's carpet for many years. It's been uh, vacant for a little bit of time and um, CJ Concepts has purchased it and what they would like to use is kind of uh, have a mixed use uh, development out of the site, meaning right now there is one apartment on the second floor and as, if you can see from the drawings here, um, there, you can see the, this is the existing way the apartment is. They are proposing to have two apartments. One would be uh, one apartment on uh, this side over here with an, a studio apartment. So they're gonna convert the one apartment into two and then they would like to then uh, have commercial development on the first floor and you can kind of see it's a phased development as as they would improve the space over time but the uh, the concept is and i'm sure you guys will be able to explain this a little better than i in just a minute but is to kind of have vendors that would have the opportunity to lease space in the first floor and have um you know this person selling antiques this person selling pictures um you can kind of get a little bit of a gist in terms of what the proposal is in terms of the different vendors using the space. Um, let's see here. So the business model is to rent the remodeled first floor retail space to vendors who will stock and decorate their areas. They are planning to have one employee at the site at all times. Their hours of operation would likely be Wednesday through Sunday, 9 a.m., 5 p.m. to start. And they're hoping to have phase one of the storefront of the retail split space completed in the summer of 2022. So again, that's just taking a look at this and this would be that phase one. And as they got to business and they had improvements, phase two and three would come at later dates. Um, again, they're looking at the apartments. The uh, new apartments would be a one bedroom, one bath and then uh, uh, remodeled in 2021, and then apartment two would be a studio apartment that would likely be completed in late 2021 and the beginning of 2022. Some of the improvements include uh, complete remodel of the apartments, updated electrical, possible replacement of the storefront windows, paint cement block portions of the building and replace all the upper windows, update the building awning, and new, eventually new signage. Um, Let's see, again, we're talking about a phase development, so the applicants would just need to work with building inspection in terms of that phasing and what spaces could be occupied over time. Uh, the property does have parking on the west side of the building and in the rear along the alley. And in addition, there's a detached garage. Um, uh, presently, there's no dumpster on site. And uh, if there's a dumpster that would be located on site, it would have to be screened and enclosed. Um, Alpkin at this point in time has not provided any sign information, but that could come in with working with staff at a later date. And this property has been vacant for some time. So remodeling and uh, uh, the, the building and having the mixed use appears to fit well with this section of Indiana Avenue. So staff was recommending approval of the conditional use permit and uh, uh, the applicants are here and there is a neighbor here as well for this one. Do the applicants have any additional comments you'd like to add? Did the neighbor have anything to add? All right. Any uh, commissioners have any questions or comments? Jerry? Uh, thank you. I live not too far from here, so this is going to be a welcome addition because this has been an eyesore for a long time. Um, just a question on the parking. How will you allocate the garage and the parking in the rear of the building and on the side? Is that per, you know, for the apartments? Do they get the garage or uh, the retail gets the, because I just want to make sure we address that before we have any on-street parking issues over in that area. Would you, excuse me, would you be able to come to the mic? Because we have, uh, um, we have people on the phone and it's the only way we can hear, so thank you. No, so our original plan is to uh, let each apartment have one space in the garage and then an additional space in the back of the building dedicated for them and then the rest would be for customers. Okay. And how many spaces are back there, Steve? I couldn't tell from the drawing. I don't know, Craig, it looks like you have about one, two, three, four, five, six, at about six or seven uh, that you have actually striped. Does that sound right. about right? 
Yeah. Correct. And I wasn't exactly sure if we could go to uh, at an angle on this side of the building. That would be the best situation, but uh, everything I saw online, it would be real tight, and I'm not sure if we could uh, squeeze that in. You know, okay. That would provide more spaces, but. And, so. and there's a little bit of green space left between yeah. that driveway and the back parking lot. So whether or not there would, you know, be any need to add anything, there might be, you know. I think it was 10 spaces altogether that was, yep. that I measured out. Okay. Great, thank you. Okay. Additional comments, Ryan? Uh, uh, what about the dumpster enclosure that Steve mentioned? Yeah. So the dumpster enclosure, uh, my original thought would be right next to the garage and just build a fenced enclosure next to the garage. And uh, Steve, that would say, obviously satisfy yeah, the Yeah, they, they would need to work with um, staff with regards to the dumpster and where it's going and what it looks like. And okay. that's a condition of approval. All right. Thank you. Good. Additional comments? Just want to add, you know, thanks for giving this area a little mm -hmm. TLC and a little love. So. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I make a motion to approve subject to staff recommendations. Second. There's been a motion by Jerry, second by Dave. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Thank you. 3.3, application for conditional use with exceptions to Petra to construct and operate a Cousins drug. Cousins drive through restaurant at 2108 North Avenue. Steve? All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, let me start off this one. So what we're taking a look at is the, on North Avenue at the intersection of um, uh, North and 21st Street is a former Lone Max. It was the Kentucky Fried Chicken previous to being Lone Max. Lone Max has uh, subsequently vacated the property and now Patera is here on behalf of Cousins looking to remodel the existing building and add some small uh, uh, cooler additions and uh, vestibule addition on the east side of the property. They came to Architectural Review Board last night and did receive um, approval to uh, uh, for, for their proposed building improvements. So what we're taking a look at is um, the, the structure is approximately 2,000 square feet. Um, they're looking at approximately about a $350,000 investment in the uh, uh, improvements. A typical corporate uh, cousin subs hires about 15 to 25 employees. Typical operating hours are about 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, many of the pa uh, paved areas of the uh, parking area will, will remain. Um, there are some improvements that will be taking place as far as the site that I'll get into in just a minute here. Um, along the south side of the building, they are gonna remove a little bit of parking to create a new outdoor patio, uh, fenced in dining area. A portion of the existing parking lot along the southeast corner will be removed to make uh, space for a grass area and planting beds, as well as the location of a new monument sign. So that's uh, the area at the intersection of 21st and um, North Avenue. And then the current access to North Avenue will be um, eliminated and a new shared access will be created to the west property connecting to the existing driveway and the existing parking which will offer, exist, uh, offer existing access to North Avenue. So what you have here is presently when you take a look at the site, um, each of the individual lots has, you can see there's two driveways, um, one that leads into the cousin site and one that leads into the vacant green undeveloped area. So basically what's happening is they are working with the owner so that there will be an access easement and what we'll do is we'll eliminate the two and create one shared driveway um, in that particular area. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, the existing uh, pull sign will come down and as they indicated, they'll put a monument sign closer to the 21st Street. No, uh, 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 they haven't submitted 
that at this point in time, but that uh, staff will work with them on that. And Cousins looks to redevelop the site, giving it new and vibrant life in hopes of contributing for years to come to the solid commercial foundation already placed in North Avenue. And Cousins looks to build upon its reputation as a solid partner and friendly destination in Sheboygan. So again, the, the size of the store is about 2,000 square feet. There will be about 21 parking spaces on the site. The existing driveway connection at North Avenue uh, will remain. And that is the one on the north side of the site in this area, so that uh, remains. Applicant will be closing the existing driveway and creating parking spaces and then utilizing that shared access drive with the neighbor to the west. Um, there will be a cross easement to allow that to occur. And then there uh, is a dumpster enclosure on the site that's a little bit weathered and they intend on uh, doing improvements to that as well. Uh, the bu building facade will undergo extensive updates conforming to um, the current architectural standards. This is just a rendering to give you somewhat of an idea as to what you'll be looking at in the near future. Um, the owner of the property will be the next item on the agenda um, is a certified survey map that we'll be reviewing. And basically what that um, will be doing will be creating two lots out of the loan max lot and then the green space site. So we'll be looking at that in just a minute. Um, and then this would give Cousins the opportunity to purchase their, their lot. Um, let's see. So again, I think one of the, the critical aspects of this is just getting rid of those driveway movements. And so they will be asking for a, a, a zero foot uh, paving setback with that easement so that we can share that uh, driveway. There's a number of different turning movements um, in this vicinity and to reduce uh, the driveways down to one is uh, much safer from a pedestrian vehicular perspective. So staff is glad to see that. Um, again, requesting two variances. One is to have the zero foot setback to the west property line. And then the second one is from the locational landscaping requirements. So staff was recommending approval of the proposal subject to the conditions and the applicant is here for this matter. I don't know if there's anyone on the phone for this one. Did you have any additional things to add, sir? Hi, Steve Esser, Patera Architects, representing Cousin Subs, Submarine Sandwiches. Um, yeah, just to follow up on what Steve said, um, you know, we're really excited about this, taking this building and um, upgrading it and making it look nice. Um, we're also real happy that um, we're going to be able to bring some of the landscaping back, bring the corner, um, this, that'd be the southeast corner right now is just open parking. That's going to be cut back. More landscaping is going to be brought into there with a nice sign. And like Steve very articulately brought up with the uh, single access coming off of North Street, that's a really big improvement. Um, I did visit the site just before I came here just to inspect the dumpster enclosure. Um, it is a masonry enclosure and it is in bad shape, so we are going to have them repair that, replace the fence, and it always was scheduled to be repainted to match the building. So that also will be done as part of this project. And if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, comments or questions from commission members? Dave? Yeah, I'm just curious, are, are you going to be ripping out all of that concrete and old asphalt and putting in new? No, there's there's some limited repair. Um, a lot of it's in pretty good shape. Okay. Um, so not the intent is not to replace it all. Um, mostly right by the entryway where we have to cut back and redo the drive area and then cutting off at the corner where we're going to be adding the landscaping. Other than that, the rest of it is pretty good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Additional comments? Yeah, I would just say it's um, a problem there with the parking that in the two driveways we've been looking at since KFC and Burger King were there for mm -hmm. years, uh, and there are so many points of conflict. It's nice to see that going away. So I'll make a motion to approve subject to recommendation. I'll second. Motion by Jerry, second by Ryan. Additional comments? I'd just like to add, I think this is another space that's going to look a lot better Absolutely. instead of a loan max store there, especially on a major major kind of artery of the city. So thanks for the work that you're putting in. And tasty food. Okay. <laughs> I can't take credit for that, but <laughs> cousins will. All right, all those in favor of approving, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed, chair votes aye. That item is approved. Thank you.
So we'll just jump right along to 3.4, application for conditional use with exceptions in certified survey map by North Calumet LLC to create a new parcel at 2108 North Avenue. Steve? All right, thanks, Mayor. So this kind of ties hand in hand when I was talking about splitting the two parcels. So right now, if you can see on the screens, you have lot two, which is the Cousins parcel, and lot one, which is the vacant green space. So these were, are, are all um, part of one lot at this time. Um, there's a couple of things in here that you can see there. It talks about the easement for the access for the driveway. Um, there's an easement with some stormwater which, with the property to the west. So this would allow for uh, cousins to, to develop on lot two and purchase that property. And then it will also allow for the plan commission or uh, the owner to potentially uh, develop the lot to the west with additional development. So this is just kind of a preliminary plan of what you could see. Um, they would have to also come to the plan commission and architecture review board similarly to what Cousins is doing here for the construction potentially of uh, another commercial development in that area. So basically what we're doing is taking the one lot and we are splitting it into the two that you see right here. And so staff was uh, recommending approval of the uh, uh, certified survey map. And I believe there may be uh, people on the phone for this item. Is there anyone on the phone for this item? Hi, uh, Leah Wyant is on. Um, I'm with the property owner. Happy to answer any questions anybody has. Any questions? I just want to, I'll make a quick comment. I appreciate the splitting of this and you know, exploring any possibility of putting another piece of yeah. development on this, this plot. So thanks for doing that. Mm -hmm. Any motions then? I'll make a motion to approve the... What, what Certified survey now. Thank you, yes. Second. Okay. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Next Thank meeting. you for your time. Yep, thank you. Next meeting, July 13th. We've exhausted the agenda. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. M motion by Jerry, second by Ryan. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 422. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. All right, Ben.